Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're going to do another study um, in this video, some revelation uh, that will open the door to amazing worlds of understanding and revelation in the scriptures. So, um, previously on this channel, we talked about the descending of the angel El Elise. Okay, I'll link that video below. It's an important video to watch. Um, but we read about El Elise specifically in the Nag Hammadi scriptures and in her conversation with Nerea. <coughs> so, I suggest reading this in context if you're interested on this subject. Um, Nerea was a daughter of Eve who, um, who when the archons and the rulers came up to her to defile her, she did not give in uh, to her passions. And she called out um, to the Holy Spirit, the gods above, for help. And the Holy Spirit sent El Elise, right? And we learned through this revelation that El Elise is actually the angel of Mother Nature, the angel of fertility, and they are one in the same. And it perfectly makes sense how we read about El Elise that she stands next um, in the presence of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is Christ. And Christ um, is the ruler of the all, um, is the ruler he creates um, the children of men. So El Elise would be, I'm assuming, the female angel for, for down here on earth, um, the angel of fertility, because there are just myriads and myriads of angels within God's holy order. Okay, so let's jump to the book of Jehovah, which means Jehovah or uh, Jehovah, really the book of Jesus, the book of Christ, um, in the Owasfi o- Bible, I'm butchering that name, but we get um, a little bit more revelation and uh, about the whirlwind. And we know the whirlwind is a huge topic within our Bibles. We could do a word search in our Bibles alone on the whirlwind and come up with tons and tons of scriptures. scriptures. So how does this all uh, work together? The whirlwind, these are the words of Christ. The whirlwind made I as a sign to man of the manner of my created worlds. <clears throat> as you behold the power of the whirlwind gathering up uh, the dust of the earth and driving it together. Now, I know specifically the dust of the earth is a symbol of flesh. So it's really about talking about creation. It's talking about birth. Okay. Now, in my personal encounters with the angel El Elise, I was actually led searching through these videos to use this specific footage um, that this is her, that she is found in the whirlwind. She showed me this months ago, and I never shared it with anybody. And now it, this is why I'm sharing it, because now it's starting to make sense. And I was led, as I was searching through tornado footage, use this footage. And, and we kind of noticed how this footage kind of looks like, you know, I, I hate to be graphic, but it kind of reminds me of like jog, dog genitalia you know you could kind of see fertility is involved in this you know it's kind of an amazing revelation indeed so um i also will say el elite showed up yesterday uh before that police false pursuit and bum rush as a very old scary looking homeless woman she looked at me dark eye shadow and in pure wrath and I knew in my heart, she's like, it's okay, I have your back. But she just said in the spirit, I'm going to wring your neck, like pure wrath. And, um, and I think that's clearly a prophecy for the wicked to come. A neck is a representation of our physical substance, our livelihoods, etc. And so it's no coincidence that we uh, are seeing El Elise in tornadoes, in the whirlwind. We can combine it. So with this revelation, when we do a simple topic search... On the whirlwind, um, it just opens up doors of revelation. You know, Elijah was taken up in the whirlwind for the rapture. So that means his birth, but I think uh, the whirlwind also represents death and destruction. So it's a double-edged sword. So that would probably be um, Elijah's um, redemptive, resurrected power. You know, he was taken up in the whirlwind, so he went up to other heavens and was more powerful in the resurrection power. And it was his... Uh, not tasting death so it's like his birth was his death was his birth so all right i don't know let's look at job out of the mouth comes out of the south comes a whirlwind and cold 
and cold out of the north. So that's an interesting scripture. Um, cold out of the north, the enemy comes from the north, right? Um, in the book of Jeremiah, for example, I'll bring trouble from the north, from the pit. And south, we know from the Book of Mormon, is where the saints, uh, the most priestly saints, will dwell, South America. So south comes a whirlwind, the creation, the rebirth, right? And also the death is the rebirth. We see this also in Job 38, if you look at that in context. And we can just keep going. Uh, Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall make them away as a whirlwind, both living and in wrath. So that's a confirmation of what we're thus studying. Um, yeah, and of course, um, the book of Jehovah also tells us that the whirlwind also exists spiritually and etherally. Uh, in the celestial, um, that's how the sun, moon, and stars are made. That's how everything is made. So it's quite amazing. If you could piece all this together, it really opens up amazing stuff and um you know i do highly suggest seeing this video that el elise has descended on the earth um it's not good for the wicked so um okay i hope people can uh piece this together and comprehend this uh thanks for tuning in Allah bless you <laughs>